Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and today we are continuing Thorfinn's journey, as well as sort of Askeladds, as well as sort of Thorkels. There's a lot of pieces at play here. Last time we found out that Askelad is actually the descendant of like the greatest warrior, a descendant of like what is the equivalent of Arthur, which was kind of just out of left field because I've always seen Askelad as sort of just the character that drives Thorfinn. But we haven't gotten much more than that until now. And it's starting to seem like he's his more of his own person in a sort of way gonna hop into this if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started winter has potentially arrived oh why do you can continue to forget us why have you been what what's oh, a prayer a little bit daunting no Anne? I don't think we know who this is. She's got some deep thoughts. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have a feeling that this, this Anne, this on is going to be either like related to one of the characters or something, or is going to play more of a critical role. Although who was it? That was, was it Askeladd's mom that was like kind of thrown in, not shoehorned, but kind of thrown in the, the, the last one was like sort of his family and his connection. But I guess that was very separate. The light of dawn. Jehovah. Oh, but speaking of, speaking of, I don't want to say speak of the devil. It seems inappropriate. The, the priest. Okay, so one of them's gonna die in a very tragic death, right? One of these two brothers. The way they're presenting them. Oh! Oh, wait, this shot is in the intro. What was the question? Oh, what is love? Actually, he's already kind of said or told them his thought on love. What is it? It's their love. It's different to anyone, no? Good question. <laughs> oh, it seems like it. It's like a much bigger theme at play here. I was trying to get across. They're talking about Thor's. Oh, I didn't even realize it. The way he was like building this story up. I had to remember Thor's beat this entire crew up. No one had died. Yeah. Yeah, and his son is part of your crew! It angers him that he didn't... Uh. Oh my Oh my gosh! Oh, he's so intrigued. Doesn't he remember his name? Some, sounds like something the priest would say. It's not like he knew Thor's. He's just intrigued by who he was. <laughs> I cannot figure this priest out, man. It seems like he knows the deeper meaning of life, but is still searching for it at the same time. Dude, the winter. Okay, so now we're moving through like enemy territory, but in order to avoid the mountains. Oh, uh, this is going to be brutal. Luck is no longer on your side. Because every other winter so far, it's just skipped over. But now we're in the thick of things. True. Yeah, but it doesn't mean some will, won't perish. Oh, they're just going to take... Oh, yeah, perfect. Villages right there. That's the Askeladd way. That's why he's not worried. He knows there's towns that they can just take from. A man praying. There's so many religious themes at work. And they're they're praying and they're about to get just raided by Askeladd and all them. And they already look like they're doing just not that good either. Like they're all just splitting bread. <laughs> he just sees the Danes as God's natural enemies. Oh. Oh, wait, on Anne. Oh, it's a girl from the beginning. Oh, we already saw her kind of contemplating everything. Hmm. So she questions God, but is also scared of the devil. Oh, wait. 
I feel like she's gonna see them coming, but she's gonna be like the sole survivor since so she wandered out. She put a ring in the tree. Why does she hide it? Oh, it's like the only thing that they have that's worth anything. Oh, and she stole it? Dang, man. <laughs> She's throwing the ring. Oh, nope. nope. <laughs> she just likes it too much. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, I wonder if, oh, if like they'll kill her family and she'll assume that they went to have it. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, they wouldn't kill like the kids, right? Maybe they'll just take everything. We'll just tell them to give them everything or else they'll kill them. Yeah, they're just gonna take the food. Thou hast utterly rejected us. Thou art very worth wrath against us. The priest? He has to warn people. Gosh, there's so many sides to, to Venland Saga. The people we spend the most time with are inherently bad, pretty relatively bad guys. Yeah, I think they just want to stay there and eat. They don't have to kill them. Just take everything that can be used as weapons so they can't attack them back. And like I said, man, these people are already so just not doing well. They're broke, Bjorn! Ah. Uh, uh, I wonder if On is going to do anything, though. Dang, they just taking all the livestock. Oh my gosh, everything? Oh, they're not killing them, but they essentially are killing them. Only enough food for 50. I see now why we saw her at the very beginning. She might be critical to this. Asquad is is just not one to. He does, he like he just isn't one to care. He doesn't care about anybody else. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, what's his thinking about you? That was the axe at the very beginning. Oh, why even kill them? Yeah. So it's essentially like putting them out of their misery. Oh. Mm. What hole? 62 like bodies? No shot, man. Oh, no way. Oh, my gosh. We are the bad guys. Oh my gosh, I'm sick, bro. Where does where does Anne go? They didn't even see her. Wait, is she Vine's troops or anything? Askeladd is evil, man. Either that or uh, Anne might just die out here alone. Did they go to heaven? She was relieved. Mm. God, dude, what a shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh! I feel like, no, her, she can't. No, 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 no. There's a very good reason they showed her still alive there at the end. Very good reason. Oh my gosh, man. I kept saying like we haven't seen Thorfinn, but this was not his episode. This was, it was, it, it, there's entirely different intention with this one in particular. This single one out of the entire show so far was to give the perspective of everything that Askeladd's men do on the regular. I'm not saying that like every village that they do go and steal from, they just kill everyone, but he does not back an eye at this like not even for a single second i think he knew as soon as he saw that village what he wanted to do what he was going to do and he's just doing it i said he doesn't waver and it's all the more terrifying part about Askeladd. but that episode was such heavy religious themes that like uh, coinciding with the priest and them asking him what is love i feel like is going to be another sort of overarching theme because i thought whenever they were asking the priest like uh in the last one i think it was one or two ago like what 
his love is or like his appreciation for life is it was kind of just like a very nice scene but it seems like it's going to be a, a, one of the very heavily embedded themes in vinland saga and i'm very excited to see where it goes either that or this was more to just portray the sheer evil of Askeladd. the sheer i'm going to get this done no matter what and then like i said the other side of things how they see the danes and it's interesting too the perspective of the dad just making it sort of black and white like making religion black and white like that's right if you don't pray you're going to hell there's evil men and they're god's enemies and i see that very differently to the priest how he sees it and it's it's interesting how i'm not saying they're both i i don't know i think they're both christians yeah they are both christians actually how both of the same denomination can see their own religion so differently and i guess portray it so differently in a sort of way but i'm very curious to see if Anne will have any more part of this show or if that was just to show some glimmer of hope i don't know guys that's been it for my reaction today to the light of dawn very very heavy episode my goodness goodness gracious drop a comment down below on what you thought i'd very very curious to hear your thoughts on that entire thing and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace